Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm making a super simple meal. Of course I think they're all simple because I've made them, you know, a few times, but today I'm gonna make uh, barbecue chicken topped baked potatoes. And this is so simple um, and it's super tasty. So come along and watch how I do this. So what I have here is some potatoes these are the large baker potatoes and I just washed them off well and poked holes in them and I put a little bit of farm dust with Himalayan salt some olive oil on each one and of course put the holes all around it and then rub the oil and the Himalayan salt all on them and I'm going to wrap them up and throw them in the oven and bake them at 400 until they're good and soft and then I will top them with the barbecue chicken topping that I'm going to show you here in just a minute. So what I'm going to do now is I have a leftover onion that I had in the refrigerator and I'm just going to set and dice that up here. It's going to go in my Instapot along with my chicken breast which I'll show you here. I'll dice it up kind of small but when it cooks it's going to cook down to pretty much nothing <laughs> that's what the pressure cookers are good for oops okay I'm just going to put that in my instapot pan This meal requires really very little preparation with it. You put your chicken in the Instapot and I have my potatoes in the oven. And then while these are cooking, then I can do other things. So it's really a, a super easy meal and it'll feed quite a few people. So my chicken is still slightly frozen, which is okay. It's thawed enough that I can cut it into small enough pieces um, and really honestly you can throw this in your Instapot with the chicken breast whole like they are but usually when they're done cooking and I put them in my mixer which I'll show you that in a minute I usually end up cutting them up into smaller pieces because they are going on top of a potato so this time I'm going to cut these into pretty large chunks like this but nonetheless I'm, they're smaller chunks than just the whole breast because they come out cooked very soft, but they're still in bigger pieces. And I have one, two, three, I have six breasts. Um, and it won't use all of this for this particular meal because I'm feeding seven people with this. Uh, when you do the barbecue chicken like this, like I call it pulled barbecue chicken, uh, it doesn't take that much because these little breasts, they cook down and it makes quite a lot of pulled barbecue chicken so I won't use all this and the rest I can just put in a bag and put in the deep freezer for another meal um, and it tastes just as good frozen you know when you bring it back out of the freezer thaw it and reheat it uh, for another meal as it does when you first make it I think it's because it sits in you know it's frozen and uh, those flavors still set in that meat and soak into it while it's frozen and then you thaw it and reheat it and it, it, it basically self marinates. And this is a lot of meat. Like I said, I don't need all of this, but um, I thought I'll have more for later meal that like I said, I can freeze and reheat later which always comes in handy <laughs> so 
I put a little bit of barbecue sauce in there already and I'm gonna add a little bit more because that's a lot of chicken like I said, it's about three pounds so I'm just gonna take probably about half of another pretty good sized bottle let's see this is about this is a two pound bottle of sweet baby rays and they're not a sponsor it's just one of my favorite brands that I use and yeah I know that looks like a lot but it really isn't for three pounds and I'm gonna take about hmm, about a third of a cup of apple cider vinegar I use the White House brand which is organic and I'm just gonna pour that in there because what that does is the apple cider vinegar breaks down the fibers of the chicken and makes it a little bit softer and then I'll we'll just sprinkle a little bit of Italian seasoning in that and my good old favorite dash with garlic and a little bit of olive oil oops wrong one <laughs> gotta get the avocado oil in that one <laughs> a little bit of olive oil and then my other bottle of barbecue sauce that was empty that I used already I went ahead and added about eh, about a cup of water to that to rinse out the bottle and I'm gonna put that in there just for liquid although you really don't need much of a liquid because chicken is partly frozen and raw so it's gonna give off its own liquid but just enough so that I have a broth in there with the chicken um, or a barbecue sauce I should say not really a broth and then all I'm gonna do is put my lid on there and set it for poultry and probably add about three or four minutes on there because there is quite a bit in there and when that's done I'll show you what we're gonna do with it here's our chicken and it is done and what I'm gonna do with this right now I'm gonna take it and I'm going to put it in my stand mixer bowl and then turn it on the paddle mixer uh, or the paddle attachment which shreds it like just perfectly but I want to show you what I top my baked potatoes with also I'm, I have a cheese sauce here going and I just have a little bit of Velveeta a little bit of butter in there and I use Kerrygold when I'm making sauce like this and a little bit of ranch and pepper and I'm gonna add about three-fourths of a cup of milk to that Let me. I know you probably think cheese sauce on a baked potato and then uh, shredded barbecue chicken oh yeah it's really good um, and the ranch just really kicks up the cheese sauce it's not a really thick cheese sauce um, it's more of a lighter texture so it melts down into the potato with the butter that I put on it also so it's pretty rich but <laughs> it's actually really good <laughs> Okay, and that's melting pretty good. I'm gonna let that sit there and finish melting. I'm gonna scoop this chicken out and then I will pour a good bit of the drippings or broth into the chicken because once it starts shredding it, it really absorbs uh, the liquid and I don't want it to be dry. I was gonna just pour it all in there, but I don't want it to go splatter everywhere because it is pretty hot. And I'll show you what this looks like. It looks really good. It smells really good. That's quite a bit of chicken, so I'll probably definitely put a decent amount of the broth in there. There's just a little bit more chicken left in the bottom. Show you that. Oh, hot, hot, hot and 
messy. There we go, see? Yum. On low so it doesn't start flipping chicken and onions everywhere. Yeah. This is not like you're dealing with flour and different things to make a batter with or something in a mixer. I have whole chunks of meat so I don't want to go flying everywhere. And then let's mix up our cheese sauce so it doesn't burn. Let me turn it up just a hair. See my potatoes there are done. That looks really good. Let me show you. There's our cheese sauce. That looks really good. And then the hair is the cheap pulled barbecue chicken because I'm not actually pulling it but the machine's doing it for me. So simple. And I did put a decent amount of the uh, barbecue broth back in there and as you can see it's already dispersed through the chicken uh, really well. So I may even add a little bit more. just a little bit more of the barbecue broth and onions in there and then we'll turn that back on again and see even if I pour a little more in there it just soaks right up into that chicken really well you can't even tell I put broth in there. I may even still put more. Yeah. And that way, when you freeze it even, uh, it still has that moisture to it. So I put a little more. And I'm going to turn that back on again. And it shreds it up so nice and fine that it goes great on top of a baked potato. You could even obviously eat this on buns as a sandwich. Um, it's really pretty versatile. But for my purposes today, it works great. Okay, there we go. See the texture there? It's nice and tore up and shredded. And like I said, I could even probably put more of the broth in there, or if I wanted, I could add a little bit of fresh barbecue sauce to uh, richen up that uh, taste in there, because a lot of that is just cooked down, you know, with the water and stuff. So I think I may even add a little bit of fresh barbecue sauce to that. Let's do that. And it's so hot that even if I add the cold barbecue sauce, it's not going to hurt a thing. It'll stay pretty hot. Let's add a little bit to there. You can see I just poured some in. I don't measure a lot when I'm cooking meals like this. Now, obviously baking, yeah, we're going to measure that. But I'm not baking, obviously. <laughs> So I'll turn that back on so it'll mix it up evenly. And look at 
mix and let's stir our cheese up because I did turn that up a little bit and I don't want to scorch my cheese. And there we go. It's like a cheesy ranch sauce. Oh, it is so good. And all I did is use a little bit of Velveeta, about mm, maybe a fourth of a pound cubed up, uh, about two tablespoons of my Kerrygold butter, and um, about a third of a cup or a fourth of a cup of ranch, and three-fourths of a cup of milk. And that's my cheese sauce. I will leave that, leave that cheese sauce recipe in the link below. <laughs> link below. <laughs> the comments below, sorry. <laughs> No, let's get that straight. The description box below. <laughs> For some reason today, I'm, I'm stepping over my uh, words, so <laughs> I apologize. Okay, let's see how that looks. Alrighty, and that looks really good. And I'm going to get a fork, and we're going to taste that. Let's see. Mmm, it smells so good. Mmm, that is so good. I think it can use a little bit more barbecue sauce. Because that is a lot of chicken. Now I have in the past, I will put some, I put bar, uh, brown sugar in that to make it a hair sweeter, but I did it today. And a little bit more. And then I'm gonna get another fork and I'm gonna put it there. much better. I think I could have definitely used the uh, brown sugar to make it a little bit sweeter. Um, but this is really good though. Just like this. And that is a lot of barbecue chicken. So a lot of that will definitely go into the freezer, which is okay. Let me wipe off. The counter here. I try to do it as I go, clean as I go, so it doesn't get ahead of me. Squeeze it just to kind of mush it up. Let me get some butter. I should have melted my butter before I put all my potatoes, but that's okay. I'm just going to mush that up. Okay, and there's our potato. And I'll take a little bit of cheese sauce and drizzle of that on there. Baked potato with barbecue chicken on top. 
cold barbecue chicken. See, it's amazing. Well, I hope you find that to be helpful and give you another simple meal that you can make your family. And it's super tasty and it will feed a lot. So all you do is throw a baked potato in the oven and uh, pressure cook your chicken or you can even boil it in a pan and shred it the same. Either way, it works, you know, super simple. So hope you all have a blessed day and thanks for taking time out of your day to watch my videos and uh, visit my channel. Have a blessed day.